The example of strings being vectors of characters. I'm going to show three things here. I'm going to show a vector of numbers. Five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just going to do a simple display num sub 1 display num sub 2 display num sub 3 display num sub 4 and since the indexes are 1, 2, indices are 1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, what we should get in the command window is simply 5, 6, 7, and 8 as we display numbers at num at index 1, 2, 3, and 4. Go to MATLAB, check it out, put breaks in here. Look at this first block of code on execution. Step through. Num equals five, six, seven, eight. We display num one, we do five, display num two, six, display num three, seven, and display num four, eight. Next up, next example, we're going to define name equals vector of characters T, E, C, and H. And then we're going to display name sub one, display name sub two, display name sub three, display name sub four. Go down to the command window. Just like in the vector of numbers, the indices are 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so we would display the first item in the list, which is T, the second, which is E, the third, which is C, and the fourth, which is H. Come down to MATLAB. Continue indexing through. Our, we're now here at line 12, where we have what I just wrote on the board. Stepping through, name gets defined as the vector T E C H. Um, display name one is T, name two is E, name three is C, and name four is H. Next example, we're going to define a vector name nombre, and it's going to be a string. String, vector of characters. A little bit of a difference. In terms of what we call them, this is a vector of characters. You see, we defined a vector with characters in it, and this is a string. They're characters, multiple characters, um, in between the the quotation marks. So we display, oops, we display nombre sub one, nombre sub two. Sub three, nombre sub four. And what we would get, and what we'll see shortly, is we get the same thing we got indexed in one, two, three, and four. The same thing we got when we had a vector of characters. So I'm asserting here that the string and the vector characters are the same. Over to MATLAB. Continuing with on line 18, you see we define nombre. Nombre is T E C H. Sub one is capital T. Sub two is capital, excuse me, is E. Sub three is C. And nombre sub four is H. So the whole point of this exercise was to illustrate um, that name here which is defined as a vector of characters and nombre here which is defined as a string are equivalent.
indexing and slicing with with strings is much like indexing and slicing with uh, vectors of characters. Start off with vector num. six, seven, eight. And if we do some indexing here, two colon three, um, then we're also going to do a little bit of slicing. We're going to display and show two colon three, and then we are going to actually change two and three um, to the values one and two. Keep in mind, in order to do this, these two vectors have to be the same size. Also, keep in mind, because the equal signs in here is here, that's an assignment. And now uh, the actual vector num is going to get changed because we are putting these items into num. So the actual value of num will get changed at this point. Also, we'll do some range operator indexing here, some more of it one step to to the end we'll see what that is and then this is sort of the classic where you go from the end stepping negative one each time all the way to the first which winds up reversing your vector and so um, if we go down here look at what the output of this should be um, we got five six seven eight num at 2 and 3, once, in mind, once again, good review, uh, 1 index 1, 2 and 3 and 4, so num index at 2 and 3 is just going to give 6 and 7, not 67, but 6 and 7. Um, num index at 2 and 3 is going to get the values 1 and 2, so now the whole vector will be 5, 1, two eight and then uh, here we go num one to n but we skip two so this is equivalent to the vector one three and so now one and three keep in mind these have been replaced now at this step they get replaced by one and two so now one and three index one and three are going to be the values five and two and then this is the reversal of the present value of, of num. And so that's going to reverse it. Keep in mind the 1 and 2 get replaced. Excuse me, the five, 6 and 7 get replaced by the 1 and 2 at this line. And so therefore, it's going to be 8, 2, 1, 5. Let's look at the MATLAB. Execute. There's our vector 5, 6, 7, 8. There's the 6 and 7 generated by line uh, 7. There's the 5, 1, 2, 8 as anticipated, generated by the replacement here, the splicing, excuse me, the slicing that went on at line 8. There's the 5 and 2 that we got out from indexing 1 colon 2 colon n on line 9. And there's the 8215, which is a reversal of num at that time. Okay. Now let's look at the same thing over in the string world. Name equals tech. Name indexed to 2 colon 3 name indexed at 2 colon 3 gets assigned the string is once again it's got to be the same size two values on this side two values on this side okay and again this is going to get assigned over there so the variable name will actually be changed 1 colon 2 colon end And then name in negative one to one. So this winds up once again being the index one three, and this becomes four 
three, two, one, as it did over here. So let's predict our output. Name it two and three at this time. This is one, this is two, three, and four. So two and three is going to be EC. Um, here two, three gets IS. So now you're going to get T I S H, which now these two get replaced by I and S at that point in time here. Now you go name one colon two colon n, which is one three, so that's T S, and then name from n to the first one effectively because you're negative one all the way to the first one four three two one, which is the reverse, which is H at this time S I capital T. Let's see that in MATLAB. Line 12 assigns TECH to name. Line 13 it displays the index at 2 and 3. Line 14 assigns IS to 2 and 3, so name becomes TISH. Um, name 15 indexes it at 1 colon 2 colon N, which is the index is 1 and 3, so that's TS. And then on line 16, we reverse it, and you have HSIT. Um, so um, that's once again showing the indexing and slicing, um, comparing it with the number, excuse me, the vector of numbers and with strings. Doing concatenation, um, removal of elements and also padding with strings is very much similar to doing it with vectors. Once again, start off with the vector of numbers uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then I'm going to define vector num2 is equal to 9 and 10. I'm going to do some concatenation here. Num3 is going to equal num concatenated with num2. And then I'm going to take that because this will alter num3. Um, actually, it initializes num3. Then I'm taking num3 and alter it. I'm going to come in here at its fourth index and remove that by setting that equal to the empty vector. Then I'm also going to come back num3 indexed it's about 7 and I'm going to make that equal to the value 99 and uh, we'll see what happens there. Um, in fact, let me not make it equal to 99 uh, yeah, that's fine, I'm making it 99 Okay, um, so now in the my anticipated output here is that num is going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, num2 is going to be 9, 10, num3 is going to wind up being 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9, 10 concatenate on the end of that. Then I'm going to here when I take a basically I'm going to assign an empty vector to space 4, which space 4 is here. Once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to assign the empty vector to that. So now num3 is going to be 5, 6, 7. That will be removed and the 9 and 10 will shift down. And you'll have this now indexed at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the next line I'm going to come in and assign uh, 99 to the seventh spot which doesn't exist, so that's spot one, two, three, four, five, six. I will pad with a zero and then seven. Now let's look at that over in strings. Once again, we'll do name equals T C H. We'll do name two equals I E string I E name three will equal name 
concatenated with name two and then name three indexed at four will equal the empty which will remove that element and name three indexed at seven will equal we'll put in Z capital Z okay so uh, let's anticipate our output here name will be tech name two will be IE name three uh, the concatenation will be T E C H I E techie I remove the fourth element one two three four five six so the H will get removed in the next line T E C I E and then in the last line uh, the seventh element this is one two three four five now because there, uh, the I and E get shifted down and so now if I come in this is space one, two, three, four, five, space six. We will pad with a space, which I'll indicate with this little up arrow here. And then there'll be a capital Z here on the end. And so let's take it to MATLAB. I run the code. There you get five, six, seven, eight, four. Vector num. Num two is nine, ten. Num three is the concatenation, which is our anticipated five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next line we remove the eight um, on line nine. And then line ten, we add a ninety-nine, but we pad here with zero. Let's watch the same thing happen for strings. Name equals T E C H. Name two equals I E. Concatenation. We have T C H I E. We remove the fourth element, which is the H. So it has been removed. And then we will add a Z on uh, spot seven, which means we have to pad spot six with a space. And there you go. If I put my cursor here, you see that there is a space there. So that's um, concatenation, removal, and space padding.